Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. Remember, remember yesterday when I told you that I would try to not have the 3D printer running while I'm doing this because it was annoying? I, I failed you again. Uh, it's running hardcore right now, printing uh, pretty much the same thing I printed yesterday. And that's kind of what I want to talk to you, but let me just show you. I'm working on a project. I had an idea um, that for something I could do that's a little bit different with a 3D printer. And um, that idea was to make molds. And so these are molds of my name. And if you know anything about molding, you might have noticed right off the bat that my name is not mirrored, meaning it's not inverted horizontally and vertically. It's printed here true. And that wasn't a mistake. Well, it is a mis no, it's a mistake, but it's not a mistake. That's intentional. Uh, my plan for these two molds was to, uh, the, the lettering is the same height as the case that I printed. So the idea is I just filled this with liquid. And in my head, the thought was I would fill it about halfway and then pop out whatever's in here. Um, and so I would have hollows where the letters are. Which would mean that on my last name, I would have to have some way of adhering the little hollows in the middle. And it still might work. It's, still, it's not a terrible idea. The problem is I was planning on casting these in something kind of rigid. Um, but right here, like between the E and the V at the top here, and even the little E, I, I don't think whatever I cast in here is going to hold up. Those two areas are too thin. Um, so I think it's kind of, they're kind of wasted at this point. I could still cut out the lettering and have, you know, my name and cool 3d block lettering to put on something. And I might do that, or I might try to make ice cubes or something, something I can make in here just to see. But as it stands right now, they're kind of not going to work. So the molds I'm printing currently, um, are inverted and mirrored and the letters are only about seven millimeters high whereas this is 15 millimeters and so I'm gonna fill it to the top and then when I pop the lettering out they will just be recessed lettering so not I don't know how to I don't know what to call it but anyway, the original idea was to have a, a square with the letter holes cut out that I can then put wood on wood and you would see the wood through I don't, so I don't know what to do with these and that's what I'm here to, to ask like do you have any ideas is there some way I could mold these in a way that would make them useful? I mean, I could, I guess I could mold like a silicone master of this, uh, like an inverted silicone mold of this, and then use that to cast. I could cast this in something and then recast into that. But it just seems like for the... For the <laughs> You know, I have a 3D printer and I wanted to try it for the express purpose of mold making. Because I thought, I'm not good at, at, at shaping in real life. You know, I'm not going to sit down with, with a gun or whatever and, and, and make a model of it that I can then mold. And, and, but I have a 3D printer and I can do 3D designs pretty easily. Uh, that's my forte, I guess. And so maybe I can just print some molds that I can then cast in something. So that's the project, essentially. There's a little more to it than that. Uh, and, you know, it might come out soon. If, if these molds work and I can get a reliable cast out of them, uh, cool. Also, these might be too thick. Um, I'm worried about the ridge lines, and I'm printing this at the highest definition that my printer will print. And that means that there's... There's, it's not a super noticeable layer definition, but when you're talking about casting something in a solid material, every one of those little ridges is going to make it way harder to get the material out of here. And so these molds might be one use, and then I have to break them out of the, the cast. 
Uh, and I might have made them too thick for that. I made these one millimeter walls. They might be too thick for throwaway molds. I might have a hard time getting them to break free. <laughs> so we'll see. I don't know. Maybe this whole idea is just complete crap and I have to start over from scratch. Or maybe I can only cast simple shapes if I sand and and treat the, the molds properly before throwing, you know, whatever in there. But we'll find out. Right now, I'd just love to know, do you have any ideas for these two guys? Uh, some way that I could use them creatively, uh, other than just stacking them up and sitting them somewhere so that I can be narcissistic. Because, you know, that's not me. But uh, it's late right now. It's super late. The 3D print is actually going really quickly now. It's almost near the end, and I want to capture that on film. So I'm going to cut this a little short. We had soccer practice night, two-hour soccer practice night, and I stayed the entire time. So it's super late. I'm super exhausted. I haven't eaten yet. Uh, I want to capture this on film, and I still have to get this edited and uploaded. So, you know, thank you. Thank you for coming back and checking this thing out. Whatever the hell it is we do here every day. Let me know in the comments if you have an idea for these. Um, or if you're like a molder caster person and you want me to send them to you so you can try to do something with them. I'll do that too. Just let me know. Either in the comments or, of course, my email is always available. Chevy at the Daily Shed .com. I'm here for you, you're here for me, we're all good friends, and I love you for it. So thank you for coming back, and liking, and commenting, and subscribing, and um, I will see you tomorrow. Hey Doc, wait, I wanna ask you something. Today's random fact comes from HomeDepot.com. How tall is a standard door? Stock entry doors come in several standard sizes. Height, 80 inches, which is six feet, eight inches. Thickness, one and three quarter inches. Width, or 36 inches standard, 30 and 32 inch widths are also in stock. I believe 6'8 is the standard in the US for height, which is the original question. <laughs>